Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I got so many requests from you all to try some more TikTok recipes. So that is exactly what we're doing today. And what kind of recipes are we trying today? We are trying all TikTok cereal recipes. And this is a really neat idea because I don't think I've ever made cereal before. Molly, have I made cereal? Not that I know. Not that I know of either. And some of these videos that I've been watching are not things that I would think could cereal. So this kind of reminds me of a video of does it cereal? Like can it cereal? So we're gonna try these recipes, taste them, and we're gonna decide thumbs up or thumbs down, does it cereal? And if you like these videos of me testing TikTok recipes, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because I have a feeling you may be requesting more of these. That seems like the trend this year. Today, we are gonna test not one, not two, not three, but four TikTok cereal recipes. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the first one. <gasps> They're teeny macarons, like this big. <gasps> and you just make a bunch of them and you eat them like cereal. Okay, Miss Macaron. So in this video, she doesn't show a specific recipe. She starts with piping them, just really small. So I'm just gonna use my recipe that I've used for years and attempt to pipe these as small as she does. And if it works, I'm gonna put it down in the description down below. And out of all the recipes that we're testing today, this one is the most time consuming because we've got to make the batter from scratch, whereas the other ones use like instant doughs and they're much faster. So bear with me. All right, let's start. In a big mixing bowl, we're gonna sift together almond flour and powdered sugar so it's nice and smooth. In my opinion, macarons are the most finicky cookie to make and this step is essential. We don't want any lumps or glumps in our cookies. Lumps or chunks? Lumps and, what did I say? Glump, what's a glump? Oh, whatever it is, we don't wanna, we don't wanna get out of here. Look at all that stuff we don't want. Ew. Chunks and clumps and lumps. Get out of here. And now. New challenge. Screw everything. Just how tall can we get this without breaking? Taller. 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 Oh, dang it. All that's left are these chunks. Now, gently whisk the sifted together almond flour and powdered sugar. Oh, I almost feel bad. I'm going to destroy the mountain. Mike, here it goes. You ready? Sugar mountain. Oh, sugar mountain. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, though. That was really oddly satisfying. It's like when you stack up a game like Jenga and then you just ding. <laughs> Once whisked together, just set it off to the side and we're gonna make our meringue. To make our meringue, I'm gonna use a stand mixer and you just need three eggs. Remember, room temperature. Crack each of them open and we're just gonna be using the egg white. I just use the jiggle method. I jiggle the yolk back and forth between the shells, letting the egg white drip to the bottom of the bowl. Oh my gosh, the yolk matches my sweater a little bit. Pour your egg whites into your mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can just use an electric hand mixer, or you could do this by hand, but I don't suggest it because it's a lot of mixing. You're gonna mix together on a medium speed for about four minutes until it becomes foamy. Once foamy, you're gonna keep mixing and slowly add your sugar and mix for an additional four minutes until stiff peaks form. Once you get stiff peaks, you're gonna add just a little bit of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, for me maybe two pinches because I have very small little fingers, and one drop of food coloring. I'm gonna be using pink because that is the color of the batter she used. Then you mix again really quickly until it's combined. As soon as the colors combine, stop. It shouldn't be for very long, just a couple seconds. Oh, this is perfect. Now fold in your dry ingredients to your meringue a third at a time. So just eyeball it, pour in about a third. Doot, 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 doot. Oh no! <laughs> Then using your spatula, start to fold together. My personal rule is I fold together between 40 to 60 times. You don't wanna over fold, but you wanna mix in the dry ingredients without deflating our beautiful fluffy meringue. If you've never folded before, it's very easy. You take a big spoon or a spatula and you're gonna scoop down underneath and then flip over the top 
and turn. Once that's well folded, you're gonna add another third. Folding versus mixing helps keep a lot of air and fluffiness in the batter. Keep folding and another third. This batter looks amazing. Now I'm gonna scoop it into a piping bag with a number 10 tip at the end because I was looking at the video and I think a number 10 would give us a really good small size. I'm just guessing though, I do not know. All right, we're just gonna scoop it in here. Macaron batter is in a piping bag. It is ready to go and in front of me, I have a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper, which I have sketched little circles on. Now in the TikTok video, she's just free handing them, but I don't trust myself cause I get a little crazy. So I need some structure in my life. So what I've done is I traced using just a piping tip. These circles are about a three quarter inch and I've traced them just on one side and then flipped it over so that the side that you've traced them on is not touching the food. But you can see the circles through just like tracing paper. Now, just like her TikTok video, we are gonna pipe little macarons. I'm just piping around the outside and then pull up. Oh, my nails match. That was an accident. I'm just gonna pipe as many as I can because we need to make enough to fill a whole bowl of cereal. Oh, now that we've got all of our little cookies piped, I'm just gonna take a clean kitchen towel, place it down on the counter so that your ears don't hurt. And you're just gonna tap the cookie tray on the counter to let out any air bubbles that may be in the batter. So just like this. Tap, 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 tap. Perfect. Now I'm gonna set a timer. You're gonna let your cookies sit out at room temperature just right here for about 30 minutes so they can develop a skin on top. This is a very essential part of making a French macaron. You need to do it. Once they've set out, you're gonna pop them in the oven at 300 degrees and bake for about 12 minutes. Cookies have baked, I gave them plenty of time to cool. Look how cute they are! These are the teeniest macarons I've ever seen. They are adorable. Okay, now we're gonna put them together to make them a true macaron. So they each need a top and a bottom and a little bit of filling. For filling, I have some chocolate buttercream icing in this piping bag and a little tip at the end for a little bit more control. And what you're gonna do is just pipe a little filling. This is what they, whoa! <laughs> There's too much pressure in the bag. Okay, this is gonna have a lot of filling in this one. But she does this in the video, puts a little filling, and then pieces all of these cute little cookies together like so. Can I say that I'm very impressed that teeny macarons still have feet? Now we've gotta assemble all of our little cookies, so you're just gonna do this to the rest of your cookies. Oh my gosh, these are so Cute! So this recipe makes 300 cookies, but then when you double them and put them together, it makes about 150 French teeny macarons. It's the perfect amount for a couple bowls of cereal. So let's try it. I filled this bowl up. I've got some milk over here. We've completed the recipe, and now we're going to try it to see if it will cereal. Okay, get out of the way, you little cuties. Oh my gosh, I feel bad just eating them. They're so cute. Oh. oh my gosh, this is delicious. It's a dessert in a bowl. I don't even know if you could call this a cereal, but some cereals are pretty sweet. This is a really sweet one. Whoa! We tried it, it worked, but you have to eat these quickly because they do react with the milk. They are absorbing the milk really fast. So already, my macaroons are just like getting really squishy. So if you are gonna have these as a cereal, you have to eat them fast. If you like super sweet cereal, this was a win. So the next recipe we're gonna be trying are mini chocolate chip cookie cereal. The video that I saw on TikTok, I'm gonna pop it right here. Boop. Okay, they just open it up, chop it up on a board, put it on the baking sheet and bake and enjoy. Now this is so cool because it kind of reminds me of that cereal cookie crisp. Cookie crisp, basically mini chocolate chip cookies and I thought, <gasps> This would be really cute because they're gonna be all fresh and it may be more delicious. But again, they don't put any bake time directions, so we're gonna figure it out. All right, first step. We've gotta open this up. You know, I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, this knife is trash. Oh, <laughs> gross! This knife is trash, I need a big knife. How do you, you know, <laughs> 
I don't use these. You know, I cook from scratch, so I'm not used to these. How do you do this? You just squeeze it out. This is so gross, like a sausage. Oh my God. <laughs> Smells delicious, but it's just this gross sensation. Okay, I don't know how they cut it either. Oh, it must have been frozen. You know what? Okay, step one, don't pull this out of your refrigerator. I advise you freeze it first because they cut it and this is very sticky. So it would be easier to work with if it isn't so sticky. Now in the video, they line it up and they cut it into little squares and then roll into little balls. But because this is stickier, I don't even think I can cut Mm, not really well. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't cut as clean as theirs. These are about a half inch long and it's just a little pinch of cookie dough. So I'm just gonna roll this into a ball like they do in the video. And now I'm just gonna place this over onto a baking sheet. Now in the video, they don't use a piece of parchment paper, but I always advise when you're baking to place a piece of parchment paper on top of your baking tray just to ensure that they don't stick. All right, now we're just gonna roll little balls and just keep doing this to the rest of your cookie dough. Remember, we want a bunch of little cookies because we're making cereal. Once you've got your mini chocolate chip cookies onto the sheet, we're gonna pop Pop these in the oven. I'm gonna heat the oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 13 minutes because I want these cookies to be a little bit crispy because they're gonna be cereal. All right, and once the cookies have baked, give them plenty of time to cool. 13 minutes was perfect. They're crispy, they're crunchy, and I put a bunch of them in this bowl right here. All right, let's pour in some milk and test this recipe. Milk and cookies, this may be my favorite combo. I love cookies, I'm, I'm kind of biased. This, this may be it. Yep. This is delicious. The cookies only absorb a little milk, not too much. Mm-hmm, so far this one is my favorite. I could actually see myself eating this, maybe not every day, because these are literally cookies in a bowl for breakfast, but maybe once a week, a little treat myself. Now on to the next recipe. Next TikTok recipe is mini pancake cereal. Now I love pancakes for breakfast, but I've never made mini ones and then tried to eat them as cereal, so I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work or taste good. Here is the video that I'm following. It doesn't show the recipe, it just shows her starting with the batter in a squeeze bottle and just doing little dollops of it to make mini pancakes. <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna start off there. All right, so in a big bowl, I'm just using some instant pancake mix. This is gonna be really easy, really fast, and some water. Then whisk together until well combined, and then we're gonna put it in this little squeeze bottle. This squeeze bottle seems like a really good idea because you could control the flow of the batter. I actually use these when we've done like pancake challenges, so I think this is gonna work. There's two, two methods here. We could try to do this. Or I could I could just pour it back in here. This has got a spigot. What am I, a baker or something? <laughs> yes. All right, let's pop this on and heat up our griddle. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Things are nice and roasty toasty here. We've greased this and they just make little circles. Okay, just a bunch of little circles and then <laughs> I love the way they they flip them with the spatula. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, my, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. They go so fast. Like, piping this fast. Oh my gosh, I have to go faster. Faster, they're gonna burn. And then we just cook them until a bunch of little bubbles start to form, and then we flip them over. Oh my gosh, I gotta move faster. I need enough to fill a bowl. Pancake cereal. Pancake cereal. Oh, they're getting a little sloppy. Okay, they're starting to bubble. That's okay, I'll go faster, I'll go faster. Those ones will just be a little crispy. You know, some people like an old-fashioned pancake, a little browner, some people like them a little bit more pale. This will be a little something for everybody. Faster, faster, faster. I'm not fast enough. No, ow, ah. And then in this video, they just take a spatula and just flip them all up crazy. So, okay, okay let's just, Oh, shoot, some of them aren't even, okay. <laughs> this is, okay, in my defense, this is what it looked like in the TikTok video too, so, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, I lost a couple. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, we're doing it, 
We're do this is what it looked like. This is exactly what it looked like, all right? So this is correct. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we scoop them into a bowl. Just scoop them right in there, right in there. Oh, wow, this is, this is a first. Oh, go, go, oh, all right, we've done it, we've done it. Let me turn this off and let's, whoa, more. <laughs> Little pancakes. Now in the TikTok recipe video, they just cover the mini pancakes in the bowl with a little bit of maple syrup and then a little bit of butter. And I'm gonna try it this way, but then I'm gonna add milk because we gotta know, can it cereal? So this is just gonna taste like delicious little pancakes and, and syrup, I think. Mmm, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, uh oh, oh, mmm, mmm, okay. So if you eat it like this, delicious. But now we are going to truly test if it will cereal. We're gonna pour in milk and see what happens. Woo! Maybe pancakes and milk, like milk pancakes, maybe this is the new thing. Ooh, this is gonna be great. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's very soggy. Oh. It's, it's, okay, we were doing so good <laughs> up until here. <laughs> okay, so if you just eat it with maple syrup like a pancake, it's great. If you pour in milk, it is instant soggy. It is so soggy. Ugh. It's like eating cereal that sat in a bowl for like hours and then you come back and it's like feelings about this recipe, so I do not think it cereals very well, but if you just eat it as mini pancakes to be fun and cute, it's yummy. All right, let's move on to the next recipe. For the last recipe, we're gonna be making mini croissant cereal. This is the video that I'm following on TikTok. So we cut into strips, triangles, and roll together. All right, so let's do that first. Oh my gosh, I love puff pastry. Just gonna open this. It's a little chilled and it's already got flour on it, so that's wonderful. This part's totally optional. It wasn't in the TikTok video, but I'm just improving it a little bit as I'm smoothing out these folds just a little bit. Just like in the video, we're gonna be using a pizza cutter to cut the strips. I think this is genius and I actually use a pizza cutter when I'm cutting other doughs and fondant, especially like strips of fondant. So I'm gonna cut them about an inch big, just eyeballing it. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna roll them together. Then we're gonna take this one and cut triangles, just zigzags, to make the little croissants go like this and then like this. Okay, then we're gonna take one of these little triangles and roll dee -dee 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 to make a little mini croissant. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, it's a little baby weed. All right, then you're just gonna place it over here onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper again. Now just keep doing this to the rest of your puff pastry. We've got all of the mini croissants rolled, they're ready to bake, and I'm watching the video, and before they bake, she's putting on a little bit of egg wash, so that is just one egg with a little bit of water, and she's just painting it on the top of each little one, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. Boop, 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 boop. This will help them get a little bit more golden brown. Just cover the top and do this to each one. After the egg wash, again, they bake, but no baking instructions, so we are gonna heat the oven at 400 degrees and bake for about 12 minutes until they are golden brown. Once they've baked and had some time to cool, I'm going to try them as a cereal. They're so cute. Look at them. Let me see, wait. Mmm, mmm. Oh, they're so flaky and buttery. Oh my goodness, I love it. Just by themselves, they're really good, but here we go. Now <laughs> a really big bowl of cereal. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, maybe, okay, maybe I put too many in here. No such thing. Oh my gosh, stop. I'm trying to get some milk, wait. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I am someone who loves croissants. They're one of my favorite French pastries. 
but I'm not sure that I love this. They're absorbing the milk in weird areas and it's, it's just odd. I don't know, but if you eat them on their own, they're really yummy. This definitely has a unique taste and I just don't think it cereals very well. Woo. All right, that does it for trying TikTok cereal recipes. Let me know in the comments down below, which one do you think you would like the most? Do you think that you would like the mini French macarons or the little chocolate chip cookies or the teeny pancakes? or the little croissants. I think my favorite were the mini chocolate chip cookies because it tasted the most familiar to another cereal. But if the mini pancakes didn't have milk and just the, that was great. And I think the weirdest was the small croissants. I still have a aftertaste in my mouth from those. They just did not hit right. Or the pancakes when you add milk. Soggy central. Anyways, a big thank you to you guys for suggesting that I try this. This was my first teeny baking. I've always watched those videos online of making like teeny burritos or teeny cakes. And this was my first time making teeny little foods and I loved it. It was so cute. Anyways, if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And let me know in the comments down below what video you'd like to see next because we are going to be trying a bunch of fun videos this year. Also, go follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I am posting a bunch of really fun recipes over there. All right, thanks again for watching, bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here, or up here, or up here, or up here. Take all of those and make it a TikTok dance.